Welcome back to Pilates for the Equestrian. I'm Virginia Thomas, Pilates instructor. In this next segment, we're going to be working on a lot of upper body awareness and how that will relate to your position in the saddle. In this next series, we're going to need a couple of items, such as your yoga mat or Pilates mat, a ball to sit on, and we'll also be using a band. Bands come in different variations of sizes. You don't want anything too heavy, as we're going to be working a lot of the smaller muscles that surround the shoulder joint. So let's get started with just some breathing. So bringing our hands again onto our knees, lifting up tall off our sit bones, drawing the shoulders onto the back. Let's take a nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale through slightly open lips. And again, another nice deep breath in. As we exhale, we pull that navel in, finding a little more support and lift. And one more nice big breath in, bringing our focus into our body. And then exhale. Lengthen and lift. Good. Let's start with just some shoulder placement. We're going to start by just shrugging our shoulders up to our ears, knowing that doesn't feel very comfortable to have them there. So we're going to draw them down onto our back. And again, we shrug them up, and then we're drawing them down to onto our back, but we're making sure that we're not jamming them down. We're feeling tightness in the armpit. Find that nice, soft position. One more time. Inhale as we lift. Exhale as you lower. Good. Now let's just draw those shoulders forward up to our ears and then wide so we feel a little bit of openness through our collarbones. And again, draw them forward, roll them up to our ears and then onto our backs. And one more time, drawing them onto our backs. Good. From here, let's grab our band. We're going to be working a little bit with external rotation. Let's place our elbows right by our waist, send that spine tall, draw the shoulders onto our backs. Our palms are up keeping our elbows glued to our waist. We're just going to exhale as we open our bands out to the side and then resist and close. And again, we open, feeling those small muscles between the shoulder blades activating. And then we resist as we come back to center. One more time, exhale as you open, inhale and release. Good. For our next exercise, we're going to place our band underneath our feet. We're going to be working on rowing. So we're trying to strengthen those muscles in the upper back. Arms are just reaching long, and you can walk your hands down as far as you want, as much tension as you want on your band. Sitting up nice and tall, draw those shoulders down. Let the elbows graze the ribs as you draw them back to the back wall, opening through the collarbones. Make sure your ribs aren't flaring. Draw them down slightly. Keep that nice, tall posture. And again, we exhale as we row. Inhale as we release. And one more time. And we row and release. Now let's work a little bit of the back of the shoulder. So we're going to cross the band in front of us, putting each band in the opposite hand. Our palm is going to be facing down. Not too much tension on this exercise as we're just working small muscles to the back of the shoulder. Draw the shoulder onto the back and then just draw that band out to shoulder height. And then return. We exhale, keep the spine tall, keep the core engaged and return. Now the other side. Draw that shoulder onto the back. Let's open that arm out and then return. And again, open and return. Great. Now I'm going to move to the side so I can show you a little bit of chest expansion. As we know, we tend to become really tight in the chest and overstretch through the back. So we're going to draw those shoulders onto the back. I'm just going to move so it makes it a little bit easier for you to see me. You're going to grab your band with your palms facing down. Let's really draw those shoulders onto our backs, pull that navel in. Take a nice deep inhale. As we exhale, we lift the arms up to the ceiling, opening to the chest and the shoulders. And then inhale, lower back down. Again, we exhale as we lift. And then inhale and lower. And last one, let's float those arms up wide and through the collarbones. And then lower back down. Now let's finish with a little cat and cow on our mat. So we're going to have to move our ball out of the way. We're going to be coming down onto our mat onto all fours. You can either place your hands under the shoulders with your hands like this, but if you have some wrist issues, you may want to choose to make this. Draw those shoulders onto your back, lengthen through the crown of the hip. Pull the navel in, supporting your spine. You want your knees about hip width apart, so make sure there's a bit of space between your inner thighs, about a fist width. Take a nice big inhale to prepare, and then exhale. Let's curl the tailbone under, round the spine, 
draw the rib cage up to the ceiling and let the crown of the head drop towards the mat. As we inhale, we release the tailbone, let the belly just drop slightly, let the chest lift through the shoulders and the head come up. And again, we exhale as we round, letting those shoulder blades open, pressing the ribs up to the sky. And then we inhale, we lengthen through the front of the body, lifting the heart and the head. And one more time, we exhale, open up through the vertebra. And then as we inhale, we come into our cow, making sure we're still supporting with our abs. We're not just collapsing into the lower back. We have that nice support. And then coming back to center, we just sit back onto our heels, just to stretch out that back a little bit further. Take a nice big breath in here. Exhale, pull that navel in. Let's roll ourselves up to a seated position. Thank you for joining me. Join us again in our next segment on our series for Pilates for the Equestrian. See you again.